Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Racing Series F1, uh, Division 3, Round 10, uh, the British Grand Prix Silverstone. I am RSF1 Revster, and I'm joined tonight by RSF1 Essex Tomo, King Essex Tomo. I nearly said something else then. Evening, Tomo, mate. <laughs> I had to, I had to backpedal. <clears throat> yeah, good to have you on board, mate. <laughs> it might slip a couple of times tonight, mate, but you know, I'll try not to. Anyway, mate, welcome to. Uh, it's probably yours, I expect. No worries. Good evening, everybody out there in Streamland. I hope you can. Uh, enjoy tonight's race let's hope we have a an event free race well there was a new update today i think so that evidently they've cured the um ai crashing at the end of q3 which would be really nice so we'll see what happens so tomo I had a week off last week, so I'm a little bit rusty again because it doesn't take long to fall out of uh, sync on this. It's looking good though. It looks like they've got nice weather on the look of things. Look at that lovely blue sky. So it should be a dry quality. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, absolutely. No, we're near Kent then. Yes. Well, let's hope it's a good night, mate, because uh, yeah, Silverstone is brilliant. I've actually been to Silverstone and it was fantastic. So, first out, I believe, on track is 40, I think. In the Ferrari. Oh. <laughs> um. So Joshua the Dosh. Just one thing, Tomo. Joshua the Dosh is saying you can only hear me. So have you ticked your box, mate? for you guys. Thanks for that Josh with the dodge mate. Good heads up. You like dyslexic? How you doing mate? <coughs> so it looks like To hear you. Uh, it's whether the guy's in stream then, Ken. Right, Fulgi is on his uh, first time lap. Can you hear Tomo now, guys? At all from somebody? Let us know. Nope, they can't hear you, mate. Yeah, it's 
just unplug your mic and plug it back in, mate, see if that does it. <coughs> right, I've got to catch up with Fordy. Check on Twitch, make sure it's something is not. Off. We have a few problems so tonight. I can hear you now. Hope not. Oh, okay. excellent. excellent. Oh, here we go. Looks like uh, it's all been sorted. So, happy days. So, okay. happy days. Right, for right. just obviously. Right, so what we've got here is, right, Eastern 2411 with a 128.047 and Joshua with a 128.400. Everything right. is smooth. Yeah, it's been here, you're both brilliant. Bam! Muted. Party chat in Twitch. Ah, that was a problem. Right, okay. I thought it was just people that didn't want right. to hear me. Camo has let us know it's a dry quality and a dry race. Excellent. Happy days! So, so on. yeah, all right. So, who's who? just leading the pits? Who said that was that? Was that a uh, camo, did you say? Camo, mate, yeah. Oh, incest boy. Happy days. You know what I mean, obviously. Good evening, incest boy. How are you doing? Glad to see you on board. So, uh, let's get cracking that one. Um, so, uh, green container is a 129.1, uh, which is, uh, oh, I mean, that's yeah, in one. We're going to lose one driver. Oh, 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 what is he done there? Brave container just went flying off the track after the queue, well, literally after the first, you know. Um, so I don't know what happened there. He took out one of the boards, and it looks like he's got a major bit of a problem now. So I don't know what he's doing now. So we'll have a look. Eyes the best. Um, now we remember Eyes the best, don't we, uh, Revster? Uh, no, actually, Revster, you don't know Eyes the best, do you? No. no I used to race with this young man uh, back in the days of XRL. I've known him very, 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 very well. I was very pleased to see him. Uh, introduced into the league, so uh, that's what I want to sit on board with him. Let's see how he gets on. He's doing pretty well. He's on an outlap at the moment, so we'll see how he gets on. Um, yeah. He did say that he uh, is on a lap, his teammate. Let's have a look, so let's watch Flaming. A lot of people have been talking about Flaming in the chats. Uh, what's your thoughts about Flaming there, uh, Rubster? Uh, as in what, mate? I, 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 I mean, good. And you, well, in your opinion of, uh, you know, it's just his driving style and what you think of him and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, a lot of people have been mentioning and flaming the chats. Um, I'm glad that I've seen the F3 is racing here, so we'll see how he gets on. Uh, you know, obviously in the racing point now. He's in the racing point, and um, yeah, I haven't really got any uh, comments to make on that. I'll have a look at him tonight, see how he goes. It'll be very interesting moment. So, looking at the top notch, has just got a 128.064, also a 128.3, very good from Porter there. Good job, Paul. Uh, yeah, excellent Falcon job Legends, 128.6, and this is uh, flaming as he comes round to the final corner. Quick chicane here, this is one where a lot of people were having problems uh, last night in F4 with the uh, you know, corner cuts, mainly the first part. Yes, um, I'm not mentioning any names, you know who you are, but you're. <laughs> uh, when, as he comes around, does a 128.7. That's a good time there from Flaming. So that's pretty impressive there. Um, the one person. So anyway, let's get on board with Eyes Best as he does a 27. 103.9. Second sector. That's a pretty quick time there, but he's, it looks like he's just backed off a little bit, or is he still going fast? No, he's backed off. Eyes of Best has just backed off. I wonder what that was all about. Has he invalidated his lap? Possibly, possibly. Hmm, very interesting. So, anyway, 
The now this is uh, this ball. Oh, sorry, you escaped. Sorry, I apologise. Sorry, you always do it. Say something, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, what do you think these guys' strategies will be tonight? I know what my strategy was. I was uh, soft to medium, but I was outside the top ten. Well, whilst uh, whilst I'm just watching Moronix coming round. He's flying round the track. He's on a 1037 in the second sector, and he's absolutely banning it down the track in the hat house. So obviously, you know, um, a bit of a few well, over, obviously a bit of a while we've done on between Eastern and uh, Monica, though. As far as strategy is concerned, uh, it depends. I mean, last night I was uh, like, oh, 127.8 from Eastern. Wow! Oh, 127.7 from Monica. And he reacted with that. Brilliant. Well, there you go. I told you. And it's uh, only Q1. And it's only, only Q1. Q1. Both of these two are just beating each other. There you go. Easton does 127.8 and Moronix and he's out that literally turns around and goes, I'll take that and I'll beat you by two. Happy days. <laughs> um, oh, get back out of the house. I mean, look, listen, the one driver's going to lose out tonight. So maybe Ford yep. just get him those cards uh, a bit of a... That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, he's done one lap on those hard tyres. You, you, you know, by the time he goes round to it, they're all really up with it. It's some pace out of so it's not bad. Um, but it all comes down to strategies. Going back to strategies, sorry, bro, so I didn't want to go that. Um, no, you are mate. Mediums to hards, possibly. Uh, I mean, obviously, I did see last night that the, the top three, or top four, should I say, lasted 12, 13 laps in their medium, and the last 10 laps in their softs. Um, but it is, it, it, the problem with this track, well, it's not a really good problem, it's this part here, Maggots and Beckett's, because uh, Maggots and Beckett's is such a fast, winding track, uh, you know, it's, part, it's such an iconic part of the track, that if you make a mistake, um, that, you know, it will ruin everything. Now, I spun out with the heat when I was on the hard tyres, I managed to save the car, got in and managed to get through to Q3 on a set of medium, so, um, it can be done and it's it's uh it's gonna be interesting but as for the comes flying round and it's not bad this is not a bad time for him actually it's a look as it does a 296 on the hard times that's pretty that's pretty good that's not bad just under a second it's just getting yeah second slide and flaming yeah, so it's pretty good the just said inside. game volume is a bit loud. Uh, game volume is a bit loud. Yeah, game volume is a little bit loud, so. Um, now. Um, I'm sure completely different. Um, yes, I am. Yeah, it is just one driver for the McLaren's tonight. Um, and DPS is going to be, uh, you know, so flying the flag. Is that any better, guys? Hopefully, guys. Once you go back on. Just let us know, guys, if you can. Do apologise about this. We're just uh, getting used to... Uh, Hopefully, yes, it is. Yeah, uh, Josh with Josh says yes, Brilliant. it's good. Thanks. Fantastic, thanks very much, gentlemen. Much appreciated. Right. Ace there is just coming around to complete his lap, I think. So yes, he is. 29 7. That's not good. That's not a good lap for me, so especially as Ford has just done the right. 10th quicker and a half. So, yeah, you might have to work a bit on that. Um, I is the best. Is just coming up to Maggots and Beckett's, I believe. Yes, he is. He's not letting it rest. He's not letting yeah. it rest with Moronix. Let's have a look. Wide on the first part of Maggots. Uh, it's a 1041, it's four tenths slower than Moronix, so yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he made a mistake, but he's still uh, carrying it on because he can take a bit of momentum into this corner here, which he has. Very nice and tidy here, up to the last chicane. Hopefully he doesn't make any mistakes here as he breaks really hard for the first game. Nice and tidy in third gear, ran to the last one and really belts it, puts on the floor, really going for it and does a 128.4, so not a bad time. So, yeah.
And whilst we've been looking at that, look at that. Days Room Bust as a 127.9. Look at those top three, 27.7, 27.8, and 27.9. Like you said earlier, um, Revsat, we're only in Q1. <laughs> Q1, man. I mean, this is unbelievable, but I'm not going to be saying Days Room Bust. I'm just going to say I'm waiting for the 915 whenever <laughs> he's on track. <laughs> All aboard, 915. <laughs> ding ding let's go <laughs> right so uh, here comes uh so anyway so let's see uh, <laughs> what is the sexy volume levels now sexy yeah, right, volume sexy Se uh, yeah, yeah, sexy <laughs> sexy <laughs> so anyway he's in the Mercedes right. he's just starting his lap uh, as he comes around Jay the, uh, the first corner um, while we've been chatting he's, he's bumped in and gone seven for the 128.4 so He's probably going to be all right through to the next round. Yeah, well, Camo and Element are the last two to set laps. So A side in the pit. Ford is coming out on the so on the soft. He's not. He doesn't feel he's safe enough. Ace is sitting in the pits. He's holding fire, hopefully. But he needs to come out sooner rather than later. So let's see what does happens right. as Element Snow you know, comes round. Oh, sorry. I'm on board. I was on board with. Um, Camo, but let's look at Element. Yeah, he's just coming up to Maggots and Beggets now. Element. Uh, if you carry on with Camo, I'll keep my eye on Element. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> keep on element. so, as he comes around to set a time of 62, it's a 1041, which matches eyes the best. That's a pretty good time for him in the uh, Mercedes. Tries to look for DRS and pulls out of the way of that Haas right in front of him. I don't know what he was playing out there. Uh, that's oh, not, no. not the Haas, Element, no, that was Element Snow who did that, not the Haas. Haas got out of the way, he was off the racing line completely, but here comes Element. Very nice and tidy around his chain, so he comes flying through and sits at 128.3. Pretty good in time, that is. Very good, very good. Camo set at 128.0. So. Same as Top Posh. Jace Lee has got a gap now, surely he hasn't. He's coming in. He's got the gap now. Joshua has uh, retired. Flaming's retired in the 128. Flaming's retired. Be... That could be dodgy for Flaming. He did retire. Or... Right. As 40 starts his lap. Here we go. Flag in sector one. Sector two, yeah. I think someone's just slowing down and move out of the way. Here comes 40, fly around, actually really taking that car beautifully well around that, uh, the first corner of 6 1. Uh, one of the corners where it will, you will find a lot of corner cuts, actually, but if you get it spot on, you can actually take it on full throttle. If you make a slight mistake and overcook it, it's going to be a penalty. Let's see what 40 does in his first sector, let's see if it's to improve his time. He does, he's two tips quicker in his first sector. From that time. That's very nice and tidy around that. On an outlet. Is, oh, we got a Mercedes. Full D is that on the side? That's, uh, I think that was uh, Element, uh, Element Snow. He was sitting on the side. He was off. He racing like completely, but he, I think he was just waiting, just yeah. crawling now. So, anyway, here comes more Ford E rounds, Maggots and Beckett's very nice and tidy. As Umbronics is a 127.3. Wow! There we go. And well, Fordy's a second quicker on his lap, 1.2 seconds quicker. So literally, Fordy to the 129.6. That puts him in the 128.4 so far, and he's going really quick. So let's see what he can do in the Ferraris. Comes around to the last two parts of the chicane, and then takes the last part here. Four fossils. He comes flying around. See what he does, and does a 127.8. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Nice job. He'll be good now, he'll be good. So. See, Ace IA, he's just Ace, Ace on a 129.7. Yeah. Here he goes. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's gone too deep, but I think he might have. Oh, is he, 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 he invalidated it? I don't know. I'll have a look. Just give me a second while oh, I have a look. Ace. Ace Aya, has he invalidated that, that, that? No, he hasn't. He's okay. He's in a 128. He's good, is he? Well, fun enough, he did a 127.9 and validated that time, so he's going ground again. Um, and he's still doing really work, so you know, at the end of the day, let's see if he can actually carry on. But he's really going to the end, well, he's using every part of that track on that Red Bull. So let's see how he gets on. As 
He comes flying around very nice and tidy. No, he's invalidated. Oh, that's it. Oh, he spun it as well. That. That's it. Oh, no. He's done it. He's done it. I think you will be going home, boy. Yeah, you, you won't be seeing for it. So, Braver Container makes it through, but it's going to be his teeth as his teammate. Yeah, but it's going to be his teeth as his teammate makes a mistake and he is out of Q. Q1. So, we've had our first. Uh, yeah. But, uh, look at Moronix. He must be sitting there with a grin of ear to ear. Axie ear to ear. I'm looking forward to seeing him. This Q three times going to be made. If he's doing a 27 3 now, please. Yeah, but here's the funny thing though. Eastern for the and uh, Route 915. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> Route 915, that's it. That's the thing now. They are Route 915. Um, they, you know, obviously they have an opportunity to even, like, you know, give it plenty of beans. Also, so Ronix has had to use another set of softs, which is interesting. Yes. There is Eastern and for, well, Eastern is you only use one set of softs. Ford is used two sets of softs, and they and Route and Route 915 only use one set of softs. So both uh, 915 and Eastern uh, are well. I think they're uh, they're going to be sitting there very comfortable because if they do their strategy, medium to softs. Lawrence might have a problem. Yeah. And where are you seeing this detail that they've used two sets of the softs? I've been watching the fitting, so when I've been watching, I've been seeing oh, right, what they've okay, been fitting. Yeah, yeah. So I've been keeping an eye on the tyres as I'm watching the uh, as I'm watching Q. I always do that when I'm working. I always have a look at what they're fitting. Good. That's good. So just call me so, so. <laughs> we are going to be. Yeah, but he's from Kent. He's not come from Kent. What do you mean? He What's is. What's the matter with you? Ask not. anybody on the stream. Hands up all those people on the stream that says Brundle's from Kent. Well, you, you just... You Same just, as Tom just, over. No, I'm not from Kent. What's the matter with you? You have to start, don't you? <laughs> I'm not messing with you, mate. <laughs> hey, I'll come on straight in, Kent. There you oh, go. don't listen to him. He's incest boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> There you go. Right. That so makes it even better. So, go. you know, Brandel's actually from the Incis County of Norfolk, for crying out loud. That's even worse. Right, That's anyway. Really? Is that in Kent? No, it's not. It's Norfolk, mate. No, right. No, mate. Norfolk. Hence the reason why I said Norfolk, you know what I mean? I know you're getting Norfolk. old, but it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Q2, ladies and gents. <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah, we've lost Brady Container, so. This will be interesting. Um, who do you reckon is going out on this one, Tomo? Well, I'm looking at the strategies at the moment. Obviously, I've just gone to the fittings. Uh, days, uh, sorry, Route 915, mediums. Camo, Mornix, mm -hmm. and Brave Container on mediums. The rest of them are sitting so far on the soft tyre. Well, Falcons just gone on to the mediums as well. So, so we'll have a look. Mercedes going out first. Who's that element? Uh, that will be, uh, yes, I believe so. No, it's not. No, actually, not. no, there's one. It'll be Route, it'll be Route 915. Route 915? Yep, Route 915. He's gone out and the mediums. Ford has decided to put a set of mediums on. And that's interesting. Braver Container Who's has... Who's Braver Container what is, on top what? what is he at? What is he playing at? Well, he better not what, go out man, of the way. Let's have a wander around. Well, he won't get no camera time, will he? Let's have a wander around with uh, Route 915. And um, just have a look yep. at him. Because it is new, so we'll just be interested to see. Um, yeah, he's gone he's out about. of the, uh, the, the uh, bank collapse. So he's uh, just uh, warming those medium tyres up. Uh, and yep. uh, just looking at the uh, what else is going on. Uh, Flaming has decided to put a set of mediums on. Uh, I'm looking at Eastern at the moment, and Eastern is still sitting there with the soft. So I think soft. he's probably going to sit. No, he's probably going to sit there and see what these guys go do. If he feels that they're fast enough, he'll probably get a set of uh, softs on. If he thinks smartly, he may just put on a set of hards and go for a longer stint. If he's done, you never know. So anyway, Route we'll 915. See you. We will see you. 
yeah, root normal fog, let's see how he gets on, because he's like, you know, um, there you go, Brad Cotter's managing to sort himself out, he's on the mediums now, so he's alright. Oh, he's got out of the bath, has he? Yeah, he got out of the bath, you know. Aha, how good time we never die. Yeah, apparently, guess this, get this, the Malibu twins are back together again in F4. Can you believe it, Ripster? <laughs> can't believe it. You know what I mean? Oh, no. um, I know. Oh, I can't right, believe it. Right, here you go then, Tomo. You can take us round, mate. It's just here we go. As he goes now. through, yep, as we take, uh, I'll take us through Route 5. Route 915, he takes the first point very nice. It's all. Oh, he's got off oh, already! Wow! <laughs> route 915 has bottled it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're on his route, get out of the way. He's not going the way you're thinking. So, ding, ding, ding. okay. That was very, very poor. <laughs> That's very poor. Right, okay. So, we'll have to try this again, I think. Uh, so, I'm going to sit on Moronix. Moronix is just um, winding himself up, getting himself all set up. Uh, I'll have a look and see if anybody's actually on a lap, which they're not at the moment. So Yeah, I don't think they are, mate, at the moment. That, so I'm going to stick with Moronix, because he set the fastest lap in Q2 with a 27.3. Uh, yet again, but obviously, bearing in mind, he obviously did another set of softs on that one. Uh, he's got 40 behind him, so obviously, here's the thing. Now, I think... Route 915 made a mistake there because when we watched him, he didn't actually warm up any part of his tyre. Where Moronix has just spent half the lap re um, just warming up his medium tyres. So, what yeah. happens, yeah? So, um, hmm. Paul was just leaving the pits. Okay, DPS Racing is on a lap. Okay. <coughs> ah, mate, he's not using his ERS and he's not, he's not going very DRS, quick. So, he's not going for a yeah, well, here we go. So, Veronix is about to start his lap. He comes around a quick chicane as we get to start. Let's see what he does on the mediums as we start the lap. Let's see. Oh, hopefully, he'll be better than Route 915. So, here we go. First corner. Very nice and tidy in there. Beautifully touched. That's what he should have done. Nice turnaround, Nicola, as days. Yeah, that's, I forget that time. That time is rubbish, that was. So, anyway, beautifully nice. That corner there. I'm see. We've got to take this beautiful corner here, full throttle, open up the DRS for that long straight all the way down. I think we're on turn six, I believe. I think, oh, I think it's turn six, I'm not so sure. As you as DRS chucks in, you've got to chuck that car massively in to hold on for dear life. You can literally get that car really tight in, nice around the chicane, and then literally open it up, full throttle all the way down, straight line past the old pit straights. Come up to uh, the next uh, turn. You've got to get this absolutely spot on because this is a really fast lap. As he comes fly around here, beautifully touched, not going too far over, and he comes up to Maggots Bits. As DPS registers us at 1.34.1, that's not a very good time at all, actually. Maggots Bits for uh, Monix, as he's very nice and tidy, not going too far over, as he comes through into uh, the DRS straight all the way down, full fossil. He hasn't used his DRS. <laughs> He hasn't used his DRS, he's got, well, he's, he's, and he's got no ERS well. on it, he's pulled Oh, right, okay, thing. so he hasn't opened it, so maybe he's just uh, set a bit of a no, bank lap down. Ooh, okay. Come on, guys, get us a decent lap, for God's sake, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so, well, the container is on that lap, right, top notch is on a lap, but he's just coming through Maggots and Beckets. Ooh, I'm not sure if he's just invalidated that. Um, it's looking like it. Route Day, 115 is just down at 127.8 from Route 915. So, yeah. I'm looking at yeah, And Easton has gone out on the left. softs. Easton has gone out on the softs. That's interesting. Hmm. Is he just going to do one lap? I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a very interesting uh, call. But Route 915, 127.8 on those mediums. That is quick. On with Jace Lee at the moment, it's just gone through turn four, I think, into five. Yeah, yeah, turn six here. Yeah. Turn six. Oh, excuse me. That's right, Jace Lee coming down up to turn seven. <coughs> down four. Turn. Into turn seven. <coughs> Go on, mate, right. Yep. That's right, turn eight, nice and tidy around to the chicane there as it comes flying around there. So it opens up the, uh, the car, full throttle all the way down using all his ERS. Well, not most of it, but obviously he's halfway through it. 
this is the corner that you're going to catch everybody out. You need to take it very, very nice and tidy in there, not overcooking the exit there as it comes up to maggots and maggots. This is the one that's going to catch everybody out. You can take the first corner, then take the second. The third one catches up, catches up to you massively, and also you guys will break very, very quickly to try and literally come to the DRS straight, open it up wide open all the way down. Keeps on going up to 200, maybe 204 miles an hour. Yes, it does. He peaks at 204, nice and tidy. They're keeping it all the way tidy into this. Cut up to the last chicane here as it comes flying through, nice and tidy on the brakes. Not going too hard onto the uh, chicane there, left hand side chicane where you can actually invalidate a lap. And he literally all the way through and does it at 128.4. Third, and I think he'd be happy with that, mate. Yeah, it's the low 128, that's exactly where you need to be, so, um, I'm Camo just... Camo is not the lap. Well, Camo's on a 128.9, so, it's not very good. It's not the lap, but it's on an outlap. But Easton oh. just on a 131.3, that's not right, so let's have a look here. So, soft, so that can't be right. No, let's have a look at Easton as he, uh looks to uh, make it himself known. He wants to get through the Q3. This is their second set of soft. Now, this is not very good for uh, Easton. Yeah, he's done one in, lap, mate. so here he comes. And as he uh, opens up DRS and sits, uh, he goes, well, yeah, he's definitely coming in. So he's three and a half seconds slower on his first lap, uh, first sector. So now what's happened now? Uh, he'll be coming in, he'll be coming in, mate. So, well, with six minutes left of the qualifying, he needs to really right. push it, so. I the best is on a lap. As he is, as he comes out. Nine, I think, is just to look coming around. I think it's nine, I'm not sure. Um, uh, it was turn eight, actually. This is this is turn nine, I believe. This is turn nine coming up here. As he comes through, there's turn ten as he comes through. There we've got maggots and beggars as he comes through. Flying through, all the way through, with that front line speed! <laughs> what I'm uh, I'll tell you who we did um, miss. Falcon Legends just tucked in there in seconds with a 128.3. So he, that's good that for him, well done Falcon. Now, that's here we go. Route 915, it's just, oh, just literally sitting in the pits, he's just gone out, he's on a set of hearts. So, I'll have a look at that uh, in a minute. As and he's he gone pole with best. it. No, he went pole. And he's so gone pole. Oh, did really? he? Yes, he did. He went to the pole with Williams. Oh, yeah, no, he's and. The pitch, yeah, of course yeah. he's good. 128.8 from Isa Best. Not good enough, I don't think. Nice. I think he needs to go a little bit faster than that. I don't know. I don't know. So. Um, I don't know. There's people on this track here tonight that I'm not, I don't think, feeling it as much as they want him, mate. I know, right, anyway, so, Mr. Moronic. Josh. What you got? Go on. 1039, first, second sector of the medium tyres for Moronix. Here he comes, back to finish his lap. Oh, I think he might have been bad that. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but I think he's okay. As he comes flying around and does a 128 0. That's Josh impressive. Second. So, second, it's not as fast as. Uh, Route 915 in the same type of tyres. That's very interesting. Uh, now, so four minutes left, Tomo. We've got to start looking. Who do we think is going to be on the uh, wrong side of that magical number 10? Well, as we're speaking, um, it's going to be the guys that are sitting, are sitting in the high 128. They need to get in, get out really quick, and set a really low. They need to be in the low or mid 128 to get through, I think. Um, I think Porter is just on the way out. Well, uh, Porter is. He's about to go out. He's got to decided to get on the sort of sauce. So has Flaming. Uh, Brave Container has retired. decided, retired, so he's out, regardless. Yeah. Oh, no, it looks like he's out. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, so. Uh, and Easton's pitted, so. Element Snow. Element Snow. Strangely. Well, actually, no, that's, that's not a bad shot, actually. Uh, but there's one twenty eight three. Who is that then? That's Element Snow. Because I think he's crashed. If you look at that time, Element Snow is one twenty eight three. He's crashed out somewhere. There's nobody else on track, so I can't see. 
uh, on the mat as uh, Top Notch is just going around track. No, I can't see where he actually spun out. I don't know where he's gone out, so I don't know what's going on now. But anyway, so Porter's an outlap. Easton's decided to get on the set of mediums. So I mean, he needs to get out quick, really quick. Uh, and it looks as I'm not so sure if he's going to get out in time. He needs to get out soon. Yes, he's coming out now. He's just out coming out. I'd like to see Paul and make it with the Q3. Um, okay. He tries very hard, Paul with us. He does. But hello to all my fans. He's, yes, he does. He's him. a very he's trying in German. <laughs> he's very trying, yes, exactly. He's very trying. Um, right. But go on, we love him, Greg. Here we go, as he comes around to start his lap in the suit on the set of softs. Let's see what he can do. He's got to really knuckle in. He's got to concentrate and get cracking. As he comes around the first corner, very nice and tidy, beautifully round now. Uh, I know he's a very, he loves this track. He always says he loves the track, very nice and tidy into, uh, what was it? We had turn one, two, three, four. This is turn five. As he comes flying around, very nice and tidy again. Uh, not pushing the car too much. He's got to take it nice and steady. He's got a set of softs. Let's see what he can do in his first sector. First sector, he is. Oh, he's on that. Oh, other man, this is an out lap. He can't be on an out lap. He's sitting his lap. No, he's so, so he says he's on an out lap. So uh, he obviously he's going. So we'll see what happens. But I think he's got he's got enough time <coughs> to uh, get around the track and set his lap. But he's going to really have to knuckle down and think about it. Um, so as we speak, uh, East is on an out lap. Flaming, Porter, Camo, Racing, uh, Isaac Best, 4D, Jace Lee, and uh, Route 915. They're all on outlaps now. So this could be a very interesting Q2. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting last minute, mate. Will do indeed. Um, so here we go. So I'm going to stick with Porter. Is Porter going to stay out? Yes, he is. Here he goes. Is he going to start his lap? He really needs to knuckle down. He's got one shot at this. Get through. Q3. So here he goes as he goes, starts his lap and opens up the car. Here he goes. And let's see if he can make the first corner. Very nice and tidy. No, he not, does. He's not going to get around, mate. Is he? Yes, he is alright. He's, 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 he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. It's just saying he's got. He's coming losing a bit of fuel. He'll be all right. So it's just saying he's got two laps worth of fuel left. That's when the red light starts coming out. It won't be a problem. So as he comes through, and, it, and that will make the car even lighter for him, so he can get around the track pretty good. You see, first sector, he's two tenths quicker. He's almost three tenths quicker than his last time, so that's a very good start there. For sector what one for the quarter. There, so almost three tenths quicker in his first lap. Uh, first sector time, very nice, and, very nice and smooth. Round the chain. Yes, he did definitely without it. Very nice and smooth. This is one that's going to catch it, hopefully not catch him out. Very nice and tidy into that corner there. Does not literally overcook it and comes up to Magnus and Beckett. Here we go, first corner, then the second. Comes up to the third one, just breaking a little bit. This is the one that's going to catch you out nice and broken up there. Beautifully turned into that and he opens up the DRS as he is almost a second quicker. He's eight tenths faster in his second sector. And he's out of as fuel. He's doing very well. And he's slow. Oh, yes, he is out of fuel. Oh my goodness, no way. I thought he had enough Porter. time, but obviously, oh, Porter. Just at the last minute. Oh, that's that's a shambles. Never mind. But anyway, let's go back and crambles. Let's go on camo. As camo, he break, he's pulled out of it as well. Camo's out of it. Oh my and whilst God. we wow. and whilst we were watching that, by the way, Easton set a 128.1 and got himself through Q2. And this is DPS racing. Is he on an out lap? Or is he on a lap lap? I think yeah, he's not going to make it. No. I don't know if he's going to make it. He's not going to No, 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 no. He's he's done because he's on that lap. Well, he's over, mate. It could be over. <coughs> well, I don't know because he's he's going round, so I don't know if he's actually on that lap. Well, he actually is, this is a lap because he's going for it. He's bombing it around the corner. Let's have a look and see what he does. A one twenty eight five. He actually no, makes Q two and not spoil the out. It was on his out lap. Wow. Wow. This is weird. Okay. Well, for these outs, Fordy got knocked out by DPS Racing. That's unreal, that is. Oh, yeah, it has actually. It has actually stopped the uh, the crashes for, um, and to, uh, yeah, yeah, so here we go. So take us out, take us through the guys. We lost there, uh, Mr. Uh, Reb. 
Yes, well, unfortunately, we are losing. Um, oh, he's saying we've lost Element Snow, but that shouldn't be. Yeah, he right. crashed. He crashed. He crashed out. Oh, That's of why. course he did. Yes, so uh, Element Snow in 10th, 40 in 11th, uh, Top Notch in 12th, 13th, Camo, and 14th is Porter, 15th, Brave Container. So, bumping through to Q3, we've got Route 915. Eyes the best, Moronix, uh, Eastern, I think now it's gone off my screen, Eastern, I believe it was Flaming, Legends, yeah, J Slee, DPS Racing, yeah. and uh, Jason, yeah, you got it. Joshua, yeah, uh, just answer a question here on the uh, stream, Joshua just said, how on earth did Route 915, the bus, he called him the bus, how did the bus do that time <laughs> with the hards, well, I can tell you, Joshua, uh, Mr. Cash, he didn't do it on the hards, he did it on the mediums. He was just sitting yes. in the in the pits, in the hards, and he just wanted to get those on hards. hards. Yeah, I mean, uh, just on the hards, you know what I mean? So, on the hard tyres, so there you go. So, big fan of DPS's uh, wingspan racing, hope he does well. Uh, no worries, thanks very much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, so very good. Uh, Kel's LFC 2009 is very bad, not what that's all about, so we'll have to have a look for it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go back to the stream here, just have a look at some of the times. Um, yeah. Oh, Camo says we are crashing Q1 and somehow it's a violent. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, and it's starting to come out. So, yeah. So first it's out is it's going to be Eyes the Best or Flaming? Who is it going to be? It is. Eyes of, it's flaming. Is it? Yes, it is. Easton's on his go. way out. Oh. Joshua's on his way out. The both of the Alpha Romeo's are on their way out. DPS is out. Moronix is out. Jace Lee's out. And Falcon's the only one who hasn't come out yet. All right. I just rolled in a fag, mate, and I'll be right with you. Oh, actually, sorry. And uh, the, 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 the bus himself is not coming out yet. Uh, oh, yes, he is. He's on oh. his way out now. He's actually coming out now. He's giving himself a little oh, bit thanks. of gap, actually. That's actually a really good move there from uh, Route 915. Um, so he's definitely going to have that name now, isn't he? That's his, that's his name from now oh, on. Oh yeah, he's it? got it now, mate. Yeah, Days Run Bus 915. Ding ding. No. ding ding. Yeah. And then, oh come on, boys! Got tickets, please. Tickets, please. <laughs> oh, you butler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Good span, yeah. So, uh, three cheers for DPS. Hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hype. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. there's three cheers for DPS. Right, okay, so. Mr. Right, Flaming. We are on board with Flaming. So, if you keep an eye on Flaming, I will keep an eye on Moronix, who is right behind Flaming in the house. Uh, right. And. Oh, no, so, Flaming's in. What? Flaming's in. Okay, interesting. Right, here comes Moronix. He's going to start his lap on the softs and he's going to try and set the bank lap. Now, remember, in Q1, he set a 27 3 on a set of super softs. This is a new set of super softs. Let's see what he can set. I don't know how many sets he's got left. If he went to the softer version, he should have another two sets of super softs, uh, sorry, soft tyres to play about with. Uh, behind, uh, it looks like behind him is. DPS, Spanish, look at that, showing off his uh, beautiful Union Jack helmet. There you go, son. Well done there. So anyway, Ronix, 27-2, first sector from Ronix. Not a bad time there for the first sector. Both around turn six, nice and tidy into that chicane, not pushing it over and right, and nice and tidy coming into where the old pits used to be back in the good old days. I see what's going on there, yeah, right. Um, and then obviously come flying road. Back nice in back in the day. Back in the day, I don't think he validated it. He went a little bit too deep there, but I think he's okay. He did the yeah, well, you know, that's what she said. Uh, and then obviously here yeah, comes Ronix as uh, JC does a 128 oh, one. That's a 128 one. 128 one. It's a fast lap so far. That 103 six second sector. That is the fastest I have seen so far. I've seen 103 nines, but not a 103 six. So I, sorry, I've seen a 103 seven. And that was from this man, Moronix, so who set a really good time. He's no, he loves it, isn't he? Oh, he's going to be too deep there, but he's obviously it's nice as he comes through and does a 127.4. Wow. DBS <laughs> answers with a 128.0. Now, Easton comes through, does a 
take preliminary pole from Veronix. Now, it's all on the second look. run. It's all Here comes Route 915. Run. Let's have a look and see what he does in this corner as he is 103 1. That is unbelievable. How quick is that? That's half a second quicker than Veronix. That is just mental from Route 915. The Calvary comes up to the last corner of the chicane. This is mental. These three are going to go for it between the three of them. As he comes around, nice and tight into that. Beautifully tidy in now. Actually, just touching it, and he does a 1.26.9. Nine, wow. There we go. I knew it was going to be a 26 out. A 1.26.9. So, what nine. is Moronix? I'm going to reply with... Well, Moronix, I think, is going to come in. I think he's going to come in and get a set, new set of super softs on, or... He's gone a bit too deep now, because uh, he is slower, so he's going to come in and get a super soft. But I'll tell you what, Route 915, those two times, 374, 372, he turns around and goes, there you go, I'll do a 26.9, beat that. Wow. <laughs> Dace Lee is on his second lap. <coughs> so, anyway, uh, as we're keeping an eye on this, uh, so, as we see, Ronix is in the pit. Uh, and also Easton is coming into the pits as well. So both these two have looked at it. Uh, Moronix is a actually, uh, Easton knocked his fuel all the way down. So he's into the fuel. And here comes, uh, at the moment, our preliminary pole sitter, uh, Route 915. He's going to come into the pits as well. So we've got six minutes left of Q3 here in Webster. And it's, gonna, it's looking really, really tasty. Stop all the Jace Lee at the moment. Just go through sector two through maggots and maggots. Yeah, he's a tenth smooth. quicker. He's a tenth quicker in the first sector, and he is three tenths quicker in the second sector. So he's yes. uh, improving his time. Uh, so he's going to be in the 27s, in the high 27s zone. Uh, let's see what he does here. Comes nice and tight around the time. Is he going to come in? No, he's staying out. As he comes up to the quick chicken, nice and tight into the first part of the chicken, second one, beautifully. Nice and tight, and he pops nice. down right to the power and does a 27.7. So that's a pretty good time there from cool. Jason Lee. Puts him into the second uh, second row of the uh, the grid uh, with alongside so far Moronix. And you know we're missing tonight, don't we? Who? There's Paddy. Oh, what uh, Crossitch? I have no idea, mate. I do not know where he is. It's a bit well unusual. Done. Yeah, where's Bodo? Oh, yeah, where is, where is the man? The myth, the legend. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Right, okay, so. I, I, I don't mean to be rude. I, I, I should be watching the rest of them, but to be perfectly honest, I'm really interested in this top three battle. I really am. This top three battle has just got epic written all over it for Q3. Here we go, Duffelumps has just said there's a few in F3 that definitely should be F2. The pace gap is ridiculous. The rest of us never have a chance for podium. Uh, DBS says, I've been ditched. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, quick, come quick to play in the So, can you invite Legends back in if possible? I will try the rest. Yeah, it should be all right. Uh, I'm not sure if we do have that. That's it, IP. Like Flaming just coming on to start his lap. Let's see what he can do. <coughs> As he passes okay. the start finish line up to turn one. Flat out round turn one, hopefully. Yeah. Oh no, he lifted a little bit. Well, um, yeah, he did. Mm. Oh, I'm just keeping an eye on his time. At the moment, the top three are sitting now. Three. Uh, I want yep. to see who comes out first between these three at the top of the thing. I can hear some chat, I can hear something going off. And Route 915 is coming out on his way out. And he feels that he wants to see, he wants that pole position. Let's see if the other guys decide to come out. I don't know if they're going to. Um, whoever's the engineer for Ronix, whoever the engineer for Easton. And Easton's on his way. It looks like Easton's actually just coming out now. So. I don't know if it is either, she, so I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Element Snow has left the session. What is going on? Oh, it's Joshua. Joshua's actually on the way out. Um, so, oh, Easton. Oh, it's a little 
been lose. Framing has lost it. Oh, he's lost oh, it. He's out. He's back in it. Oh, dear. Oh, he's gone. Back on the track now, so he's going to have to go back in. He ain't going to have enough time to set a lap. He's got a front window as well. He's not got enough time now, mate. No. Right, now. This, we've got Joshua is out lap. He's on a lap, nobody. Wow. What is going on with these guys here? I thought, he's, I thought the top three would be battling because at the moment, unless they're like waiting to the last minute. And it looks they're like yes, it comes to Haas. Yeah. It comes to Haas as well. And look at here comes the Alfa Romeo and the McLaren they're and all the Ferrari. Out. They're all coming out. <laughs> and the Alfa. With two minutes to go. Out. Yeah. Moronix makes the first call, and as we on board with uh, Route 915, this is not going to be very good for 915 because. He's going to be coming up to uh, traffic as he comes through doing his queue, qualifying. But hopefully, the rest of these guys will get out and get out of his way by the time he comes around does his, does his lap. So, at the moment, we are sitting on board with the uh, with preliminary pole. That is Route 915 with the 126.9. That is some time yeah, to beat. The good thing about that, Timo, is these guys are chasing it. So, the pressure is on these guys. Yes, it is. And as... Uh, Route 95 starts his lap, and as he comes flying through, he's very nice and tidy here. Let's see if he can actually improve on his time and make it even more tougher for the rest of the guys. That's going to be really interesting because the rest of you've got six drivers out on out laps. And let's have a look at Route 95 as he starts his lap. Turn six comes flying through, DRS wide open. He comes straight down to the end of sector one, and he is faster. He is actually set a faster sector one. It's only 200 to a second, but it's still faster. Sector one time, Absolutely. faster one so far. So let's see if he can improve on sector two. He's going to be absolutely loving it. And he's got a fresh open air track. Even other guys who came out of the open, uh, literally, look at that time there. Beautifully taken. I don't know if he had uh, noticed. Okay. Didn't go too deep as he comes up to Megas with Beckett. We've got no, the sector good, three. Yellow flag in sector three. As he comes through, he's got hardly any fuel as well. So obviously, he literally looks like there's an absolute down to nothing. He's, uh, he's, well, he's 300 seconds up. He had a bad sector two. So he had a really good sector one, bad sector two. Um, so that, so he's literally found, oh, he's got a bit too deep there. I don't know if he's actually pushing it too far. As he comes flying through the last chicane, as he comes up, let's see if he can actually improve this time. I'm not too sure if he's going to. It doesn't look like he is. Uh, twi wow, 26.9, he did. He did improve this time. Here comes Easton, as he comes to set the first sector. Easton, he is, he's 200 seconds up on his time uh, as Easton. And I'm just having a look at Moronix as well. So Moronix is literally ahead of Easton. Let's keep an eye on Moronix here. Yeah? who's literally sitting in third place and literally, hopefully, trying to get into the front row. But he needs to really push it. He's really on low fuel as well. He comes through the and Beggars, nice and tidy in there. A little bit of dust put, picked up as he comes through. Let's see what he does. His first sector, he's three tenths quicker. He is three tenths quicker in the second sector. This is going to be really close. This is going to be so close for preliminary pole because he's almost the same sort of time as Route 915 as he comes through the chicane. I'm sorry about this, but I'm taking over here a little bit, but I apologize. It's all right, mate. You're all right, you crack And obviously he comes through as he's going to try and beat. No, he doesn't. 372. No, he does take second. Eason, he's pulled out of it. So Moronix has literally beaten Easton in qualifying, but. Route 915, 126.9, beat his time by 300 of a second. Yes, Moronix was half a second quicker, but not quick enough. So. Oh, and Joshua has crashed. And and he's AI. AI. Yeah, his AI is completely <laughs> done. Wow. What a... Oh my goodness gracious mate, that was a I that was an intense Q3 last part of that, wasn't it? Woo! Well we've got some good times there, so this is gonna be a very, very tight off the line. The front four are gonna be well on it, mate. Well on it. Well, well Moronix will be happy. Moronix will be happy. on reattached itself. So but there you go. So,
Oh, there you go. That's just it didn't really touch yourself. Tick over. So, ladies and gentlemen, your top ten are, or top nine in ninth, Flaming, DPS Racing, eighth, Falcon Legends, seventh, Joshua is in sixth, fifth is Eyes the Best, Jace Lee is in fourth, Eastern 2411 is in third, Moronix is in second, and Route 915 is your pole sitter for this week, guys. I'll tell you something here, Rev. Look at the top on, the top five were separated by Times. half a second. That is yeah. mental. But fair <laughs> play to uh, DPS Racing says, I hate Britain. Is it going to be wet, says uh, mm -hmm. TX Bit? No, it's not. Oh, it is a lovely day. Though, mate. No, it's, it's just an overcast day, but it's still a beautiful day out there in beautifully sunny Silverstone. And it is set up <laughs> perfectly for a great race. Yeah. We are hopefully going to have and some. Yeah, Josh, it is Route here. 915's first race, and he's got pole position in his first race. I believe it is his first race, uh, but I'll tell you what. I might be wrong. First I think ever he actually league raced, race. I, f I think he actually he <clears> might have raced last week. Actually, I think he raced in Austria last week, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So don't quote me on that. Um, uh, yeah, here you go. Uh, apparently, uh, D Duffelop says yes. First ever league race. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a clean race in F4 last night. Very very clean. No incidents whatsoever. So hopefully, F3 can do the same. Um, There's my teammate there, TX Busy. He won yesterday. Good man. He did. He did do. He did a very very good job last night. Uh, TX. He had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, company with Alco Saints. Uh, but uh, in fairness, his uh, his pole position was fantastic, and Toby's actually uh, he's actually readied up. Toby BNS is readied no, up, so that's so that's no. not very good. He's not oh, even dear. in. The, he's not even a racer. What is he, he not doing? racer? Is he? No. What's he doing here? Then? So. I don't know. I don't think he is. Well, nobody kicked <sighs> him out, so I can only assume because it was friends only. So, but anyway. <clears throat> we'll have a look at this. Okay. Um, so yeah. hopefully, uh, this is going to be interesting. So, so here we go. Yeah. So let's uh, take you through the drivers from back to front, shall we? As we uh, let's go on to what tyres are on uh, as we start it. So anyway, so uh, at the back of the grid, you've got uh, Tobin, uh, who is in the. Uh, Funny enough, he's in the Toro Rosso, so I think he might actually be. Uh, Porter's teammate, probably. I'm not too sure. Oh, we'll maybe, have a look at that. maybe. Old Manzi sitting in the McLaren. There's the other McLaren. Old Manzi turned up. There you go. The old boy's here. Happy days. He's sitting in the medias. You've got uh, Asi in the in the Renault. He's sitting. Uh, sorry, in the Red Bull. Sorry, apologies. He's in the uh, medium size as well. Brave Container sitting in the other Red Bull. Uh, he's actually sitting in fifteenth. Then you got Mr. Porter. Hello, driver fans in the Toyota Russell, the sister company of the, the uh, Red Bulls. Camo, uh, incest boy, as we call him, you know what I mean? He's actually in the Renault in 13th. Top notch, the other half driver he's sitting, who happens to be one of the guys on the podcast, one of my teammates in the podcast, and he's top notch. Forley in the Ferrari, sitting in 11th place. And then we've got the top 10, which is Element. He is in the Mercedes with the uh, medium tyres. Then you've got RSF Flaming in the soft tyres. He's in the Racing Points. DPS Racing sitting in the other McLaren in, in the soft tyres as well. Falcon Legends sitting in seventh place in the other Ferrari in medium tyres. Then you've got Joshua in the Alfa Romeo who's sitting in sixth in the mediums. Eyes of Beast, uh, Eyes of Beast, sorry, he's in the other racing, but he's sitting in the soft tyres with Jace Lee in fourth uh, in the medium tyres. Easton, he's in the Alfa, Alfa Romeo, he's sitting in the extra medium tyres with RSF1 Ryan X in, in the uh, second place in the, uh, in the medium tyres in the half team. And of course, we've got our pole sitter. For the first time ever, Route 915 in the medium tyres in the Mercedes. So, Revstar, I hope you've got plenty mate. of drink. Interesting. Because I, 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 <laughs> I think my voice, I think my throat. Thank God, I've got two days off after this. This, the, this today was my first of my three days off. I have got my uh, drink ready. Yeah, and <laughs> Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> Our AA meeting was not very successful, I have to admit. <laughs> so, interesting strategies. I couldn't get it, it was a stutter group. 
Hey, there you go. Um, some different strategies here. We've got um, Isaac based Falcon, sorry, DPS Racing and Flaming on soft tyres, 4D on hard tyres, everybody else on mediums. So, right. here we go. Are we ready? I'll do the front, mate. You check the back for the first lap. Oh, and we're off. We're Here away. we go. Sorry about that. And what a great start That's there cool. from Rudolf. That was a quick start, that was. Very great start there, it was. Hot on his tower. He has got a good start, my Ronix. And Tobin has got a great move. Oh, no, we've lost. Looks like, oh, no. He's we've a... lost Porter. Porter has gone. And we've also got a couple no. of top watch as well. What on earth has happened back there? Porter, we've lost Porter already. And we've got a problem there as well because we've oh, got Sector yeah. 1 yellow flags. And I think, I'm not too sure, that is flaming not a very also, good start. Flaming also. Oh, wow. We've got uh, Flaming with uh, front wind damage as well. We've got Camo, he's got a Camo seems to be okay. Uh, Josh Wa, he's got front he's got front wind damage as well. 4D has got front wind damage. So that is wow, not a good a start. That's got a not a great start there. And at the moment, right at the front there, look at Moronix right on the gearbox of uh, literally of uh, Route 915. Easton is not that far behind as well. And the top Oh Moronix has gone a bit too deep already! Oh, it's gone a bit deep. He's, fair, he's, he's, he's breaking under the pressure because here comes Easton. Easton's looking for an excuse just to literally pass by. Right, Ronald's right, going well deep there. Looks like he's having a bit of a problem here uh, with those medium tyres. Um, it might be a bit dirty here, but I'll tell you what, oh, this is a great battle. as well, Moronix. What is he at? I don't know what he's doing, but there you go. Look at this battle for third. This is for first between these two, top three. Oh, my. Uh, and, well, Jace Lee is just staying out of it a little bit because these three are really bad. And there's a gap back, uh, literally building between uh, Easton and Jace Lee as it goes on and on. As Easton is going to have a really good look. We've got yellow flags in sector one already. I don't know what we had there. So I don't know what's happened there. It looks like Flaming is staying. Uh, is it Isa Best? Isa Best? He's got a bit of front wind damage as well. Isabest has got front wind damage as well. What on earth is going on in this first lap here? Uh, as we've got, uh, I'm just checking the other drivers, as we've got uh, Flaming, who's looking for a move. Now, I don't know why he's thinking about move. We've got, with wind damage, the guns come side by side. But look at Top Notch. He literally is just battling with Flaming as he literally holds that position nice and tidy. Both of them with wing damage, both of them battling. I don't know, so Top Notch has not got any wing damage, but Flaming's got a little bit of wind damage, but it's not holding him back whatsoever. That is a uh, very good driving from both of them, really, but nice. It was fantastic driving, but I'm yeah, so mate, disappointed very for, uh, very, very disappointed for uh, Mr. Um, uh, Porter, but uh, his teammate, Toby's right in the gearbox of flame and he's in, makes a move, DR, he's not got DRS yet, he's got slip, three lane speed, he goes slower, come up to that last pain, oh my goodness, get him out to my god, spit him out mate, three lane speed, as we come around, Easton sets the fastest lap, as we come through, we're going to have DRS right up and soon, as look at Easton, he's right on the gearbox of Moronix, he right, is really yeah. flying, he must be turning everything massively up. So let's have a look in, uh, we'll have a look at the uh, telemetry as uh, East has got a great answer. And he has got DRS wide open, but no, so is Moronix. And Moronix, and look at this gap. This gap between these three is not going, but look at Easton. He's oh, making Moronix think about it. When he is literally making Moronix absolutely defend with his life because all it takes is for uh, Easton to get a really good exit. And they're pulling away from Jace Lee. Jace Lee's foot, he's still trying to keep up with them, but it's, it's fair play to him. But that's very really good. Ace to I at the moment. He's going into the pit. Joshua yeah. is out. He's gone onto a set of uh, hard tyres. And Ford is out on the medium, so this is not very sick. Oh, 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 no! 9 5 is spun. He's spun. Oh, my goodness. And Moronix has got the lead, but then we've got to have. Eastern right on the gearbox, this battle, this team, these two drivers, what on earth happened there? Rue 915 had a bit of a problem, I don't know if it was actually himself or uh, I don't know if it was a little bit of touch, I literally lost it, I'm oh, sorry about that, I just actually <laughs> it wasn't quite a touch. missed it. No, he, he just, he 
Steady Brand himself. All oh, elements sure. right on the gearbox of BTS oh, no, racing what's before. Going on? What's the matter? Lost the stream, I think. No, you're still showing. Am I? I've got a black screen. You haven't, have you? No, it's it's alright, like, yeah, no, it's alright. It's okay, I think. Okay, can you still hear us, guys? Oh, Tobin's got a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. So, obviously, as we keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, no, it's alright, actually. Yes, yeah, fine, actually. There, uh, We can still see you there, um, uh, Reb, um, cool. as you're trying to. Cool. So, do you want to just back out of that, whatever you're, the menu you're in? Yeah, 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 I'm out. Uh, cool, no worries. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, as we carry on with this little battle between Eastern and Falcon Lens is set the fastest lap on the medium season on 131.7. This little battle between Eastern and Moronex. Now, Eastern really needs to keep the pressure on Moronex here, and uh, basically, if he gets a great exit out of Maggots and Beckett, Moronex is going to have Eastern all over his gearbox and maybe make the move past him. This is a great battle between these two drivers. I remember watching this battle between these two in France. Eastern had a great exit, did very, very well. He's got DRS wide open and he is catching up with Moronix. Moronix is doing so well to catch to keep that distance. He's not close enough for that battle. While this is going on, Elements having a look at DPS racing in fourth place and his teammate is two and a half seconds behind. I don't know what's going to happen with uh, with uh, uh, Route 915. Route 915 is just getting himself back into the fray thing. He's going to be not impressed that he's literally had to go from first to fifth, while the rest of these two guys are just battling it out for first place. Moronix has got Eastern literally keeping him honest all the way through. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Whew. Well. What a great start to the race so far. Reb? Yeah, you I'm there, here, mate. mate. Sorry. I am. Are you uh, going to commentate? <laughs> no, I'm here, but we, I have lost internet on my laptop, so I'm hoping that the stream's not going to go down. No, the stream's still showing, mate. I've still got a perfect stream on my screen. Just, yeah. yeah, just carry on, mate. Just carry on. I'll let you know if there's any problems, all right? Oh, so mate, carry on. Yes. But anyway, yeah. as we see, we're watching. I'm just on board Element as we speak, uh, as he is right in the gearbox of DPS Racing. Uh, he's yeah, really pushing. That. Yeah, you got that? Yeah, that's fine. Here he goes. Element's yeah. right on Maggots and Beckett's as he comes flying around. This is going to be really, really interesting as he's got a great exit with DRS wide open. He's going to be closer to DPS racing. Will he be able to make the move from six? Will he make the move? No, he won't because DPS is still just enough time in front of him. And while this is going on, Easton is right on the gearbox of Moronix. Moronix is just fighting for his life, keeping right Easton right behind him. But Easton is doing everything he possibly can. To literally oh, hold that agree. No, <laughs> he's the might have a man do it. I think he might do. It depends on his exit out of this corner here. If he gets a really good exit, but he's got he's right in the gearbox of Moronix. Moronix is doing so well. And Moronix has gone a little bit too deep, but it's okay. He's still right in the gearbox. Is he gonna have it close enough? He's got DRS wide open as he comes flying up. He's trying to keep the slip stream. He's making Moronix think about it. He's probably gonna go for the slip stream. He might go pressuring for a switch him. back he's here. Pressuring him. He is. He's pressuring Moronix. He wants to make Moronix make a mistake. But Moronix is a very good driver. He's going to love this because he's going to enjoy this. But at the same time, he's not going to enjoy it. Because Easton is a very, very good competent driver. He's been very well for the Alfa Romeo since he joined. He has really been giving Moronix a run for his lobby. And he's got a great exit out there. Straight into Maggots and Beckett's. He only needs a great exit out of Maggots and Beckett's to attack the DRS. And Moronix is going to have to go. do every games, oh, and he's got a little bit too deep. deep. He's got a good exit. He has got a good exit, but it's a little bit too far behind now. Because Moronix has got a bit of breathing space, and he comes Eastern again. So that was really good driving. Let's have a look at this. Got out elements close now to DPS. He's going to make the move. No, he pulls it. Come on, D Element, make the move. You can see. What's about you? Go um, for it. Go, going on with Moronix. The reason that. Um, Eastern is so they touch, I think it's just push. <laughs> Element is pushing DPS yes. racing man the corner there with the last game. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> my runs such low wings. But, oh, oh no, 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 Element's maybe lost it. And Ruby 
Elemental Force has almost been taken out by his own teammate. Wow. Element almost, Element lost it. He's going to have to move out of the way. He's got a problem. I don't know what happened there, but he was doing so well. It looks like a bit of dirty air, actually. Uh, the car just went flying through. That's not helped his team. Well, he's helped his team out a bit. Uh, that, uh, and looks like uh, Star has got three good. time penalty. So we'll see what happens here. It's a bit of team order from Merck, so they're going to have to work together to try and get round. I'm not too sure. Um, but so anyway, let's good get back evening, on this Jake battle. Moore. Yeah, good evening, Jake Moore. How are you doing? Jake fell snow to use his ERS. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Whatever that means. Anyway, so let's get back to this battle and get the lead because uh, Easton is literally three tips behind Mornix. Hopefully he's going to have a better exit, and he has got a better exit out of Megan's Beckett. So that's a brilliant exit. And he's going to be right on the gearbox now with DRS wide open. Is he going to have enough time to try and get past Moronix? He's having a look. He's having a look. He's going to make a move. No, he's not. Moronix literally closes the door right to the last second. Moronix has gone too deep, and he is lynched. Look at Easton. Side by side, they're going for the French game. But no, Moronix says, no, you're not having it. I want this lead. I've been battling for ages. You're going to have to go the hard way, kid. Let's get cracking on this one. And it's a great He's battle between these two drivers. He's going to have to make a move sooner rather than later because at the moment, oh, Moronix is going a bit too deep again. He's really struggling. Easton is doing everything. He's throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Moronix to make sure he can get past. And he's going to have a great exit out of this turn as well. And he's got a great exit there. And DRS wide open because he might have a chance to get past him, which he does. He looks at the opportunity. Mitchell comes up to turn four and he makes the move stick as he takes first place. What a great overtake there from Easton. And Moronix buckled under the pressure there, Redstar. He did a little bit. He did a little bit, mate. And um, Easton looks like He's actually opening that up a little bit there now, so I don't know whether Lawrence is just taking a bit of time out to gather himself up before he can um, start his on but look at well, this I'm looking at the ERS era deployment, you know, and it it's looks half like... a second in front already. Wow, that's a very good, that's a great exit there from Moronix, but, uh, you know, but he's got the ERS on Easter, which means yeah, he's going to have a chance to Look at this, it actually pulled back. He was half a second, but now he's three tenths behind Easton. These two are having a massive battle. This is purely for first place. And while we're out there watching this, um, Route 915 has managed to get past his teammate, and now he is battling to get up to, and hopefully he'll be able to show Element Snow how to overtake that McLaren, who is literally on seven lap old softs. Those softs will be coming to end soon. I yeah. wonder sooner rather than later whether or not DPS is going to pit. That will give the Route 915 an opportunity to try and catch up with the other guys. Now, bearing in mind, uh, DPS is, if you look at it this way, he's seven seconds behind Moronix. Moronix is already seven tenths behind Eastern. Yeah. That is unreal. But he's just managed to pull it in with DRS, so we'll see what happens around these points. Easton's doing a fantastic job, but it just showed you that if you push it, it just gives you that. But if you look at Moronix, his ERS uh, level to Easton is... Easton's managing these a little bit better, mate. Yeah. He's doing very well, and Moronix is going to have... Uh, hopefully, you will have a great exit out of Magnus and Beckett's, but uh, somebody just mentioned in the cat, it was like, I think it was stuff like, he could have got past and had clean air, then managed everything. That's what... Uh, Apparently, um, yeah. he, so actually, we're watching Route 915. He's right in the gearbox of DPS Racing. And let's see what Route 915 does. He gets a great exit out of Maggots and Beckers. That's a fantastic exit. And he's going to have DRS wide open, which means he's going to get past DPS Racing easily as he does. So makes himself, moves himself up to third place. And literally, uh, DPS Racing has all that problem. And look at it so right behind him. But look, at it all of a sudden, out of nowhere, DPS has pitted. It was going to come sooner or later, and DBS has got a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, oh God, dear, oh dear, oh dear. But anyway, the two Mercs are working very well together, and they need to really knuckle down and catch up with the top in two. In the meantime, Moronix has got his time down to almost half a second. Seconds. Yeah, That's yeah, just seconds. under half a second. So he, he is pulling it back. It's a, it's a bit of a toss-up. Now, this is a good oh thing, my, actually. Wow. This could be a good thing, actually, Rev, because the longer these two battle, it's going to give yep. 
Uh, Route 915, an opportunity to clean air, try and catch up with these two. And he's pretty good pace yeah. as well. Now, bear in mind that all on nine lap hole um, uh, medium tyres, uh, as I'm just keeping an eye on it. So, all we got is uh, yellow plates and six to three. I don't know what's happened there. It looks like uh, we've had a bit of a, a spin. I'm not too sure how that happened, but we'll keep an eye on that as uh, A side has got um, trying to catch up with Jace Lee in 17th to 18th place. Um, so, anyway, let's have a look at it. Maggots and Beckett's as Moronix makes a great exit. He's got a great. Beautiful exit, he's catching up with Easton really, really quickly. But Easton manages to get himself 16th quicker. It's just at that little bit extra yeah. further away it's crazy, from Ronix. It's, crazy. it's unbelievable. While this is going <laughs> on, I'm just keeping an eye I'm looking on for some uh, other battles because we all to um, have a look at some other people as well. Yeah, I think so. Well, so actually, there's a battle going on here. We've got old Manzi, who's catching up with the uh, Brave Container. This is purely for fifth place. And while this is going on, Camo is actually catching up his little battle. So we've got a battle here for fifth place. We've got a battle here for uh, first place. There's a potential battle for third place between the two Mercs. So at the moment, we've got uh, a really good uh, battle. DPS Racing's come yeah. out on, this, on the mediums, uh, and he's going to try and catch up. Lovely looking car, that McLaren, mate. <laughs> yeah. In fairness, after you know, I, I really like the look of the new McLaren. It was really good, and I'm I'm pleased the McLarens are doing pretty well this year. Um, so they're, they're actually, doing well this year, actually, much better than they have done uh, in the past couple of years. So yeah, and Notch yeah. has done a very good job with the car, so he's he's doing pretty decently. Uh, top Notch is sitting fifth place oh, here we go. Here in the house. So let's have a look here. So what we're we looking at here. So as we speak, uh, we've got uh, Monix. He's half a second. We've been half a second. As Easton goes a little bit too deep. Oh, he's made a little bit of a mistake there, but that's not good enough because DRS wide open. Let's have a look at Monix. Look at how much time Easton had before Monix had a chance to get the DRS. He was almost seven tenths quicker, seven tenths away from Monix. Top has got two feet in time penalty as well. Just don't and, uh, a penalty. <coughs> excuse me. So. Route 915 driving quite a, quite a clean race this week. To be fair, he's not doing too badly. He's not. 915 and, uh, is back up into third. Yeah, he's been in third for a while now. He's doing all right actually. Adam Snow sitting just over a second behind him. So at the moment, they're all ten lap old uh, uh, mediums. Now at this yeah. present time, what if it, now? Obviously, I tried this last night. I came in at lap. Uh, 11 got out on the med on the hard tyres and lasted for the rest of the race and actually did a very good job. Uh, Flame's got a three second time penalty. Toby's got a three second time penalty as well. Yeah, yeah. So She's maybe I think these guys are trying to go on right to the end until and get a set of softs. So that could be interesting. But this little battle here for this is for six. Right. Well, this is purely for sixth place between Raven Container uh, as he uh, yeah. almost finished. You got. Uh, Old Manzi and Camo, they all have a bit of a battle here between the three of them. Uh, as Old Manzi's got DRS wide open, Camo's too far back to try and get DRS. And uh, we all know Old Manzi, don't we, Repsic? Good driver he is, isn't he? Yes, very good driver and a very nice man as well. Very, very nice man. He's very, very nice man, isn't he? Yeah, a bit old, but he's a very, very nice man. So. Uh, very nice man. <laughs> Problem is, anyway. he's got an extra two wheels on the bottom of his Zimmer frame going through that car. So right I'm now. not sure if that's a cheat or not. Uh, I think it might be a cheat. Now, this could be interesting because the top two are coming through the backfield already. They've just gone past Ace Ayer in the hard tyres of the Minute of Red Bull, and Ronix has managed to catch up with Easton. But Easton is doing such a grand job of keeping. He's just set the fastest lap of the race as well. So that's yeah. very interesting now. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look here. Uh, Easton has got two warnings. He's not that far away from the penalty. Veronix is on two warnings. Uh, and obviously, we've yeah. got um, Route 915. You know, he's got one penalty. So, so far, the top two, no penalties between the two of them. So, so far, so good for Veronix and Easton. Um, oh, dear. Cool. Oh, Marlon, I need to drink the next. The rest of these drivers are quite spread out, mate, to be honest with you. Almezzi is going to be looking at Brave Container this. Yeah, he will this be. this corner into he the DSI, be, and I think he might have him this time. Uh, he see. won't have him on this straight, but if he has a really good exit out of Maggots and Beckett's, he will have him at this uh, opportunity. He's trying to get into the situation, which he's done very well. Um, so that's pretty good there. 
Um, Tobin's has set another fastest lap, 131.5. He's doing very well at the moment, sitting in 12th place for the Toro Rossos. Doing a very good job on a nine lap holder, um, a million tyres. Eyes the best is sitting in halves with six lap hold tyres, uh, hard tyres, so he's looking for a longer stint. Josh has got a three second time penalty. So anyway, let's get back on to the Braver container, this horse, one of his, oh, old Braver, be careful, mate. He's a driver as well. He sets a very low wing, I think. If you look at his speed on the straight. Oh, old man's got a great yeah. exit out of Maggots and Beckett. And he's got DRS. Here he goes. He's going to make the move. Let's see what Braver Container does. And get, oh, Braver Container, is he going to make moves? Old man's Oh, no! Braver Container spits fun out and he, oh, my goodness. I don't think that was uh, intentional from uh, Old Manty. Old Manty made the move stick. Unfortunately, Brave yeah. Container tried to defend himself, and unfortunately, he got his tyre caught on the back end and spun out. So that's, old, that's opened up. I don't know how he, the stewards are going to look at that one. I, I would put it down as a, a bit of a racing incident. Um, I don't think uh, uh, Brave Container yeah, gave yeah. Old Manty enough room. Oh no, look! And, and look at this! Oh my god! Old Manzi's just spun out! So after all no, that work, he's spun out! And Braver Container, Camo's sitting in sixth place, so Braver Container can sit there with a bit of a smile on his face, a little bit of uh, that's a bit of karma there. So uh, yeah, that, that was interesting, wasn't it? Last couple of quarters. Oh, <laughs> amazing, <laughs> But look at that gap that Eastern is opening up now. Uh, well, it was up to eight tenths of a second just now, but look at what Ronick's been. He must be in a DRS zone, I expect, maybe. Yeah, he no. was. Yeah, he was in DRS zone. He was in a DRS zone. <coughs> Eastern was thinking about going to the pits. I thought he was going to go to the pits, but he decided to stay out. I think they're going to go in. They're possibly going to try and see if they can do a set of softs for 10 laps, these two. But these two are just battling for first place. They're really not giving it up. And uh, whilst we're watching that, Easton's got a free six time penalty. So that has actually opened up. That has turned oh, everything yes. all of a sudden now because now if Ronix does not have a bad, uh, literally does not make a mistake, he could take the win. Easton is buckling under the pressure and that's opened up the door for East, for Ronix. And Route 915 is slowly but surely, he's not catching them up, but he's still within 10 seconds. So. Um, if I was, well... That's I mean, a shame for old Manzi, you know. He's up eight positions before that spin. <sighs> Just gutted for him, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think he went a bit too deep. He must have been seven in second place <coughs> about what oh, happened between me. him and uh, Braver. But uh, obviously he managed to, keep, to continue the car. So he didn't cause any damage to himself. And he's actually catching up with Braver Containers. He's having this little battle with him again. But that could be interesting. That could be uh, part two. So... Uh, whilst we're watching yeah. this, um, as we speak, uh, Moronix, sorry, Tobin sets another fastest lap as uh, Moronix has catched up on? with Easton. Let's have a look and see, is, are they going to go in now? Sick two, we've got yellow flags, six two, what happened there? Um, oh, looks like, old, I don't know actually, to be honest. Old Man's has been overtaken by Falcon Legends. Um, and we've Come got, on, uh, oh, Camo, hold on a has gone. Camo has gone into, into fifth place while we've been watching that. I think, Ka I think, yeah, uh, Top Notch, pitted. Top Notch has got a problem. He's got a bit of a problem. That was happened to Top Notch. But Moronix has pitted already and, and well, I, I, I think, uh, He's got all his wings, Top Notch has not lost any wing or anything. So. Uh, Route 915 has decided to stay out as well, so. This is a this is an interesting uh, strategy from Elements because he's going to have to really sorry Eason he's going to have to yeah. really really push the metal down push the metal down, pedal to the metal you know what I mean you know in the old Top Gun field, I need field need the need for speed as he goes round and so tries to uh, <laughs> set a, a fast lap and Moronix he's out on the super softs so now, Eastern won't let's... get any DFS though remember Tomo. DFS, yeah, you won't get any EDS either. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Or ARS or DMS. I don't know. You know what I mean? Whatever it is. Anyway, old man, he's pitted. Yeah, or FFSS, you know what I mean? Or PMI. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, whatever. You know what I mean? So, anyway, so Easton, he's just come out of Maggots and Beggars. He's <coughs> coming down to the final. It's a long straight. So, he's going to come in, and I'm going to keep an eye on where Moronix is. He will, he'll have to come in. He's got to answer he's Moronix, got to come because Moronix he's got to... is coming round to Maggots and yeah. Beckett's. No, he's gone again. 
Right, really easy this to stay out for a little bit longer. That yeah. is a bad. That 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 could come back to haunt not him. Not a good move, I think. Yeah. Unless he's got really, really good tyres. But then saying that though, he's got a decent gap over Moronix. He's got a literally, well, he's got a 25 second gap. So, uh, he's, well, he's got a pretty long bit further than that, actually. That's actually not a bad What's call the pit from, stop? Um, What's the pit it's stop? It's about 28, 29 seconds, I think it is. Uh, guys, anybody, should, did anybody uh, tell me what's going on? Obviously, you know, if, if anybody knows what the pit stop uh, time is, I think it is about 28, 29 seconds. So, if Easton continues on with this, um, because at the moment he's 28, he's 29 seconds away from Easton. Now, bear in mind, Easton at the moment is just coming up to the turning, and jc has got a three second time penalty to come up to make it some better gets. So, let's have a look and see what he does here. Because at the moment, it looks like those tyres are literally coming to the end as he comes round nice and tidy there through Mackets and Beckett's doesn't make any silly mistakes and uh, at the moment he's pulling away from Route 915 Route 915 is literally 13 laps seconds well. yeah it's 16 laps so he's going to try and stay out a little bit longer let's see what Easton does is Easton going to come in now because this is going to be a time and Easton is in the pits yes he's in right let's see do not speed Yes, he doesn't. Happy days. Right, now, Moronix yes, is coming doesn't. through Maggots and Beckets. <laughs> As, uh, <laughs> and uh, where, is, where is Route 915? Route 915, he's coming into the pits. Do not speed in the pits, please. <coughs> he doesn't spit in the pits. He'll spit in the pits. <laughs> As Moronix <laughs> comes round. So look, where's Easton? Easton's just about pitting. And Moronix is coming round to the final chicane as he comes flying around. This is going to be close, but I think... I do think that Moronix is going to make the new stick. Is he going to make the new stick? That's the question. Let's have a look. Moronix, he's in first. Where's, come on, where, where is Easton's out? But no, Moronix gets through. So the undercut, the oh. undercut did not work. The overcut did not work for Easton. And it's absolutely well, played perfectly into Moronix's hands. Tires, though, mate. But here we go. DPS racing is an eight lap old. Uh, uh, medium tyres, Element Snow has come out, he's ahead of his teammate in Route 915, has come out in 5th place. I do not think that move from from Eastern and from uh, from Route 915 is probably a bad move. Come on, gets a 3 second penalty. Oh, that's right, Incest Boy don't mind, he loves his penalties, God bless him. You know I mean? so, so. I'm, not, I'm not sure, I think Eastern might be alright because he's <coughs> off. They're going to battle. They're going to definitely battle again. And Easton's got the newer tyres. True. But, but there is what one problem. We've got to start thinking about, mate. Yeah. Well, here's the thing Easton's got a three second time penalty. Moronix is only, hasn't got any penalties at the moment. So, what That's Easton true. has to do is he's got fresh tyres. East Moronix is on two lap old soft tyres already. So then this is going to give an opportunity for Easton Here to we catch go. up. This um, element on uh, DPS Racing, I think. Yes, and he makes yeah, he it does, stick. and he makes it stick. Finally, Element makes an overtake on DPS Racing. It's only taking like, <laughs> pretty much like 19 <laughs> laps, but well done, Element. You've done very well. So, and uh, DPS Racing is going to have Route 915 as Flaming has a free signal time penalty for company. So there goes DPS Racing as here comes Route 915. Now, let's get back onto this battle here for uh, first place. As Moronix has managed to get past the uh, back marker of Braver Container. Toby's got a free second time penalty as well. Braver Container is yeah. all the way down to 17th. What's happened to him? Yeah, what happened there? I have no idea. Camo's just set the fastest lap in the race and then 130.3 in the soft tyres. So let's have a look. This is going to help. Now, this will actually help Easton as well. So you can get a bit of slipstream behind Braver Container, move out of the way, and literally switch by him. Uh, and hopefully catch up with, with, with Monix, which he does, because he's managed to find another two tenths out of those two corners there. Let's have a look at Maggots and Beckers as he comes flying through. Let's see if he can actually try and catch up at that time. Beautifully nice and tidy through as he's found another tenth. So he is slowly but surely catching up with Monix. A tenth lap. Just what? He's retired from the session. He is retired. He feels as if he's, he's had enough tonight. 
Um, that's a bit of a shame from Joshua. I think the, uh, the first Just look at him on board with uh, <coughs> Rick Bowman as he, he's going to make it stick on the racing and it does. Yeah, moves himself up to fourth place. Back to now, team uh, Easton's just hit the fastest lap at 130.1 and look at that, he's just over two seconds. So in that one lap, he managed to find himself seven tenths on Moronix. And and Ruth Normal Fog does his fastest lap himself at 129.9. So, so far. So anyway, let's keep an eye on this uh, this battle here because honestly, let's see if Team All is comes into play. Oh, oh my goodness, what on earth was that? Joshua come back onto the track, almost went into Element. It's his AI car that went into, came off the track and literally came back onto it. Uh, now, the thing about it is, uh, section one, we've got, uh, oh, hello, we've got a migrating host. What's happened here? What's Don't tell on? me, do not tell me that, Mor oh yeah, he is. Moronix, he's left the session. Oh my goodness, this has opened it up for Easton. No way. Quickly, I'm not going to see Who's that. Who's got the host? I don't know, but I will try and see if I can get. Because Easton's managed to get past. Um, this is going to really, really annoy him big time. Where are we? Come on, where, where are you? In the back side. Just trying to find the young man himself, actually. If I know, follow me a second. Uh, no worries, but Easton's made is. that stick past his AI as well. Is he back in? Uh, I cannot invite him. I can't invite him to the game. Oh no! Right. Well, hold on a minute. So we, uh, I don't do it more well. Obviously, carry on because now we got a problem because obviously Easton's got another three-second time penalty. So he's got six seconds. This is almost two seconds behind. Uh, 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 almost two seconds behind uh, Easton. Now, bear in mind at the moment, and Joshua's left the session completely. And obviously, uh, Moronix needs to get back in. Moronix has just joined. He's in. He has he's just in. joined. He's That's back good. In. So he's four seconds behind, but there's two oh, now. Easton needs. <coughs> no, oh, he's who's okay. that in the Alpha? Which one? The Watch Alpha. There's the Alpha going very slow, I think, from the look of it. That would be, uh, that would be uh, Joshua's car, unfortunately. Joshua's car. But anyway. Now, Moronix is six and a half seconds behind Easton. That has literally opened the gap for uh, Easton to try and win this race. I know for a fact that Moronix is going to be kicking himself. This happened to me last night. Remember, I was in third place and it kicked me out a little bit. I tried to get back into the game. I managed to secure fifth place. But this has just worked perfectly for Easton. With five laps to go, we want there some, some drama, and we got it. And look at this, it comes uh, Route 915, he's got a DRS on his teammate, and he moves himself up into third place, and gets past team orders, and he's not there at Mercedes. So, Route 915 managed to get past his teammate element, and moves himself into third place. While this is all going on, wow. Easton has got Flaming. a seven and a half seconds. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, Flaming just got a 10 second time. Track limits. Wow, that's unbelievable. So what he's doing? Not at the moment, but um, we're still keeping on going this very battle slow. because at the moment, let's have a look at this little battle here because we got a safety car, safety car out. We got safety a safety car. car. Wow. No How way. Is that <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what has happened yet. Somebody's well, probably gone off somewhere. But we have flaming got a safety car. Slow, That's now. flaming. So flaming has caused a safety car come out. This sure has now. Flaming. Well, it's got to be somebody because somewhere, somewhere along the line, there was like a yellow flag six to one, and now we have a safety car with four wow. laps to go. So does Easton come in and change his tyres for a brand new spec set of soft tyres? Uh, now this is going to help. Uh, Moronix as well, because Moronix, um, he was seven and a half seconds behind. Easton's got a six second time penalty. This is not good for this Easton is not good at for all. Easton, yeah. This is not good for Easton. Plus also, this brings Route 915 back into the game. This is unbelievable finishing for Silverstone. I'm so loving it. It's crazy. <laughs> it's going to be... RSF1. RSF1 at his best. 
It's going to be the same sort of time differences at the end of the race as what it was in Q3. Oh, oh Ford has got a drive-through penalty. Speeding oh, under the safety car. Oh, wow. Ford, what are you doing speeding under the safety car, mate? Come on, you can't do that. What's the matter with you? What do you mean? Speed so, at the side of it, not underneath it, mate. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So, so Easton. No, Easton's gone. Where's Easton gone? Oh. No, what, oh the, what the hell happened? What has happened there? What has happened there? Whilst we're looking, drive through penalty, speeding under the pit and speeding. Anthony, oh my goodness. Have we got, what's happened? I don't know. Whilst, whilst we were literally talking, Easton's gone, and Marnix is sitting here first, and I don't know what on earth has happened. We've, I've lost it. We did not finish, I don't know what's happened to. Anybody know? Just seem to spin in the middle of the track. I don't know what on earth has happened there, but for some of our reason, we have lost Easton with three laps to go. <coughs> and we've lost Easton as well. It looks like it might have been a collision between those two. I don't know what's happened here. Does anybody, uh, 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 guys, does anybody know what's happened here? Easton retired. Easton on six second penalty. What happened? Easton retired. I had a big lag spike. Not sure if anyone else did. Oh my goodness, Josh Wilson. Uh, Josh with Josh, I don't know. Does anybody, anybody the uh, engineer for um, uh, for Eastern or for anybody, or even for Jace Lee? Jace Lee can let us know what actually happened because uh, for some reason both those two drivers have gone to DNFs. Um, that's not good at all. Uh, and this, as far as I'm concerned, has pretty much handed this race battle to Moronis. Although Dad's. Well, 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 I've just lost my connection now. You've lost your connection now. What's happened there? Wow. Well, let's see if I can get you back just in. Uh, uh, yeah, I can get you back in. There you go. There it is. Cheers, buddy. So, I don't know what on earth is going on here, but I'll keep an eye on what's going on because at the moment, we've still got the safety car out. We've got two laps to go. Uh, and it is unreal at the moment. And you go, he's just come back in, so you just joined out. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this. This is purely opened this massively up. We have got Ronix, obviously on eight lap old soft tyres. We have got um, uh, Root 915. He's on six lap old soft tyres. We've got DPS Racing on 14 lap medium tyres. He's currently sitting in third place. Now, while you're uh, doing that, I'm just going to quickly look at the penalty dis problems. Actually saying that, I know, yes, it, that's what I thought, uh, Root Noir has had to a uh, free ticket time penalty. Uh, Moronix is still sitting on two warnings. DPS Racing has got a time penalty as well. Uh, Element Snow has got a time penalty and a drive-through penalty. So that's really hurt uh, Element Snow as well. And Camo is sitting on a penalty as well. So at the moment, the only person in the top five who hasn't got a penalty is our race leader, but, leader. It, you know what I mean, which is Moronix. But at the moment, let's see, the pit, well, I reckon the last two laps are going to be mental. If Route 915 gets a great exit, a great speed, now bear in mind, Moronix has to get a good start. And I think we'll probably see the safety car coming in soon. We'll find out. Probably might be around yeah, this sort of time and everything. So, Uh, maybe Xbox services is missing with us again. Don't know at the moment. It seems to be okay. We haven't lost everything because uh, the safety car is staying out. Uh, let's see if it comes. If we should find out sooner or later if it comes in. Um, it's going to be a one lap shootout. It will be a one lap shootout. It looks like it's going to be a one lap shootout. Unless the safety car comes in and we'll have a two lap shootout. Really, really nice. So, uh, as we turn a look and see where it comes in. Yes, yeah, safety car safety is coming in this coming lap. In. So we've got a two-lap shootout. This is going to be absolutely brilliant. Oh I'm looking forward to this. Are you looking forward to this, Rick? I am, mate. Rick, nine on five just really went into the back of Moronix. I know it did. I know it did. Right, anyway, so... <coughs> Moronix is just waiting and waiting and waiting. Let's see if he goes. And off he goes, Rick. Here goes Moronix. But Rick, nine on five. What's the call on the team? He Right up to it, he knew what he was doing. So, Rude Armour 5, Ford has got a five second time penalty. Severe collision with Brave Container. 
on earth is that all about? So anyway, so as we come flying around, Ronex has got the lead. Route number one, five, six, second. There's DPS racing in, in, in third. Element Smoke in fourth. Camo in fifth. Top notch in sixth. And the, this is going to be unreal. I'm telling you this now. So let's have a look and see what happens here as I go on to the broadcast. Let's have a look as we go. So. Route 915, he's got one chance, and I don't think he's going to be able to get past uh, Moronix, but I'll tell you something, Easton is not going to be happy. I don't know what happened there. Falcon Legend's got a three-second time penalty. That's not going to be very good for him either. So, a DPS racing, he's doing absolutely everything he possibly can to stay ahead of Element Snow, who's on the Super Sauce, and there's Camo not that far behind him. So, let's have a look at this. As the Mercedes of Route 915 comes flying around, he's going to give to Moronix a run for his money. Now, bear in mind, Moronix is on literally two warnings. Any more warnings as uh, ATI gets a free second time penalty. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be great battling here as as Route 915 gets a great exit at Maggots and Beckett's. As he's got DRS, whatever. We've got Sienna Face, two and three. I don't know what that's all about. But here he goes. Route 915 almost up to Moronix. He's going to have a look, but he's not close enough. Let's have a look. Is there been any issues there? Because look at this battle here. Asaya is actually 13th place. He's actually been part of that. I don't know what's happening there, but uh, as we have a look, Old Mezzi goes a little bit too deep as he's trying to catch up with uh, Top Knots and uh, Camo and uh, uh, the crew here. DPS Racing doing a fantastic battle. Last lap. We are literally on the last lap, ladies and gentlemen, as we come up to it. Monix is sitting in first place. He is hopefully going to take first place. You've got, you've got Route 915 sitting in second. I do apologise for this, folks. I'm trying to keep it off. I do apologise for this. As it comes to the last lap. DBS is right, doing very, very well. Keeping Element Slow right behind him. He is sitting on preliminary third place. Looking at that podium on 16 lap old mediums. Flaming has another three second time penalty for corner cutting. <coughs> Excuse me. Front two, mate. Anyway, the front, front two. two. Front two. This has all come down to it. Route 915 gets a great exit. Beautiful exit. Past the old pick straight. And he is really giving Moronix something to think about. But remember, Moronix has only two warnings. Route 915 has got a free secret time penalty. Unless Moronix makes a silly mistake and goes a bit too deep in defending as he comes flying around. And look at Route 915. He gets a great exit. This is not going to be good. Top Notch gives a three second time penalty. That's giving third place to Element Snow. As he, that's not very good for DPS. As obviously, look at the top two. Route 915 right on the gearbox of Monix. Monix is doing everything he possibly can. But this is all about Monix. Monix has literally got this in the bag. He is going to literally come flying around to take the win of Seals. The British Grand Prix goes to Monix. Route 915 gets second. DPS Racing gets third. He does get third. DBS Racing keep no eyes the best moves up into oh, third eyes the place. Best gets it. Eyes the best gets the third place out of <laughs> nowhere. What an unbelievable! Oh my goodness gracious me! DPS Racing was sitting there in third place, loving it. So was Camo really sitting fourth, but then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, eyes the best with a third place finish. Wow! <laughs> what a finish! Oh, and Flaming takes his wheel off as he goes by the line. And he's mad with that oh, well, what well, well, a race. Well, well done, race. What a race. I think you'll agree with us, uh, you guys out there in Streamland. Fantastic racing. Edge of your seat stuff. That's really good. Nice commentary, Tom, mate. I must admit, mate. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to say, well done to Moronix. And well done to the other two drivers as well. I'll have to get those guys in. Um, and yep. I will do, actually, for us. But, uh, oh, what a finish to the British Grand Prix. And what a great race to finish it off. What a week we've had of the British Grand Prix. Yeah. We had a fantastic race. We had a fantastic race in F, uh, F2 on Sunday. And then F1 was just as good. F4 was brilliant last night. And F3 has just finished it off, capped it off with such a great performance. So... There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, do you want to take right. us through? Eyes. Yes. So, in. Well, I'll go from the bottom to the top. So, not the DNFs. A load of DNFs. In I love 13th. This. Ace there. Uh, yeah, loads. 40 12th. Uh, Toby Bins, is that? 
Yeah, Toby. Yeah, yeah Toby Ince. Yeah. Callum May, tenth. Braver Container in ninth. Eighth was Falcon Legends. Seventh, Top Notch. Sixth, Old Manzi. Fifth was Camo. Fourth, DPS Racing. Nice result for DPS. And the top three guys. Eyes the best. Route 915 and Moronics. <coughs> Right, gentlemen, if you could just tick the box in your uh, in the party, please. Yeah, man. Um, and um, we'll, we'll we'll just take it as it is. So um, so we'll start with uh, our third place finisher out of nowhere. Uh, oh, uh, actually, uh, <laughs> which is Mr. I is the best. Nice podium. Good evening, you're right. Buddy. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, I bet you was. I bet, I bet that shocked you, didn't it? Um, after what happened on the first two corners, yeah, because I'd lost my wing and um, I had to pit earlier than I wanted to. And I didn't really want to go on the hards, but I thought that's the only tyre that's going to get me to the end of the race. And um, I don't know if you caught it, but when the safety car came out, I kind of changed my mind last minute to go into the pits and I caught the grass and ended up God knows where. So I lost my, I lost my wing again. Had to go back round and then pick for some softs. But I knew I had a clean race, and um, there's a good chance that penalties could move me up. So yeah, chuff with third. There you are. There yeah, you are, Revster. Well, I just say the penalties did help you there, mate. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Um, I did, we didn't catch you on the safety car, unfortunately, because. It was so intense with the top two all yeah. the way through that race. And most of our time was spent there, but um, yeah, nice result, mate. Uh, Cheers. Um, yeah, you just popped up there from down there to up there. That was brilliant. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't yeah. believe that. Unbelievable. So, and we move to uh, now. Obviously, we've got a new name for you, young man. Uh, it's your first race. Your name is Days Rombus Nine One Five, but from now on, you will always be known as Route Nine One Five, as far as we're concerned. Yeah, so, congratulations for getting second place. Uh, brilliant uh, pole position. Brilliant pole position for a one twenty six nine. Absolutely fantastic. But then, obviously, you started the race doing very well, and then you spun out, and you obviously had to battle all the way back. So, you know, you must be happy with second place in your first league race. He's not in the party, is he? Is he not in the party? I don't think he is. No. What? No. I'll just ask that question. Is nobody's here? What the <laughs> hell is going on here? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I've just wasted my time asking that question. And he hasn't even joined us. Right, we'll, we'll come back to him anyway. So, anyway, let's get to... Well, let's see if he actually joins. Hopefully he will join. Let's see if he joins. Um... Uh, come on, uh, come on, mate, get in here. Where are you? Does he actually know you to do a, a, a podium thing? Well, anyway, okay, we'll come back to him anyway. So, Moronix, congratulations on all the young men. Um, I have to say, um, you had a great battle with Easton, uh, and then obviously Easton managed to get past you, and you tried all your power uh, to try and catch up with him made the undercut uh, stick, which was a fantastic move from you. But do you know what what happens? I mean, obviously, you, you were sitting in front doing very well, managing the race until, and then all of a sudden, safety car come up. You must have been sitting there going, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Well, well I don't exactly know what happened in the last seven laps, I'd, I'd be honest with you. Um, driving in clean space, I knew Easton was catching me pretty quickly in the, so in the fresh softs. Um, and then the game kicked me out. It came up with a screen saying it must be sent into Xbox Live. So I got an invite from Porter, joined back, and found I was seven seconds behind uh, Easton, who got past me. Um, and I think there was an incident in Magus and Beckett's that caused the safety car. It must have been a collision with Easton and Jace Lee. And then I just had a two laps to def uh, to defend from um, from Rhombus, and uh, I was able to pull it off. It was a mad couple of laps. So. Well, when uh, when obviously you got knocked out, you was like three seconds ahead. You was enjoying yourself. Easton had a three second time penalty. Managed to get past you. Pulled away to about three seconds. Then got himself another three-second time penalty. By the time you joined, 
you were six and a half seconds back. So obviously, when the safety car came out, you must have thought, cool, I've got this. You know what I mean? I can get the race. I could put... I didn't know if you were aware of the penalty situation with Easton, was you? Yeah, yeah, I was keeping an eye on it. I had dyslexic in the power as well. He was a good engineer for me, so shout out to dyslexic. Ah, right, okay. Uh, apparently, um, uh, Route 915 does not have a mic. Hence the reason why he's not okay. doing us, so... Okay, so fair enough. That's all so, but uh, hopefully uh, you'll sit watch this back. But anyway, congratulations there, uh, Route 915. You got second place. So, but anyway, congratulations to you, Monix. Awesome performance Good as time. always. Um, uh, unfortunately, we were we were looking forward to this battle between you and Easton. It was going on all the way through into the last part. Don't know what happened there, so we'll find out about that. Um, Webster, anything you'd like to add? No, just um, congratulations, Ronix, again. Um, <laughs> you know, mate, you're, Thank you. You're, you're running away with it a little bit. Um, I, I was just looking, actually, at the thing. It was flaming that caused a safety car in Maggots and Beckett. So you had a spin there, I think. So, ah, yeah. right, okay. Um, now, here's a question for you, Ronix. Obviously, with this new guy, uh, Route 915 and Eastern, obviously they're keeping you honest. So, are you actually happy with this this new form of competition that's joined the league, giving you a, a little bit of a run for your money? Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's always fun racing uh, quicker guys as well. It's, it's new new drivers I've never raced with in league racing, so it's good to see the see the new drivers coming through. So it's it's fun. It's fun. <coughs> it is indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this week. Um, just a shout out to uh, that. Obviously, tomorrow night from eight o'clock. Uh, will be the podcast. We will be talking about all the races that happened uh, obviously this week in and the uh, the British Grand Prix. Once again, my uh, congratulations goes to you guys. The best for third place. And obviously, you to Moronix and of course to Route Nine One Five as well for getting second Thank place you. as well. Fantastic performance for you drivers. Um, myself and Rebster, Obviously, I don't know what's going to happen next week, but uh, obviously. Um, it will be exactly the same time next week. We will be round the uh, 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 Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix in round 11. Yes. Uh, so hopefully, uh, this is all about Moronix. Will he be challenged again? Probably will be, and it might be rain. You never know. So from myself, uh, Ken Essex Tomo, from my good partner here, uh, RSF on Ripster, obviously from uh, Isabess and from uh, Moronix, I'd like to wish you uh, a good night and adieu.